If you live streaming or recording content using your phone and you need to be able to connect something like a sound mixer for live streaming, you know, that's going to give you the ability to connect something like a, a microphone like this one, add some background music, use something like maybe a broadcaster or any other analog mixer to be able to send that sound, that clean sound into your phone for live streaming. I'm going to show you today, guys, this little device by Snyro. I've been testing it. All right. It's called Live Dark 10. All right. So yeah, Live 10. Okay. It's an audio adapter slash audio interface for phones. It does work with both iPhone and Android. It can still work on a computer, but in my opinion, you probably don't need this for using a computer. There's so many other ways you can use to be able to get the same results. But if you're using a phone for going live, let's say you want to go live to Instagram, TikTok, even YouTube shorts. I mean, even the normal YouTube, you can actually use this little device connecting to your phone. I'm going to demo it and be able to get some sound from your mixer where your microphones, maybe your music, you know, that you're using, let's say background music that's connected there, sound effects and things like that will be connected. So now this is not a perfect solution. I've tested it on YouTube shorts and it did not work Snyder told me that it wasn't working well with youtube shorts somehow youtube shorts did not support external microphones i'm looking forward to testing on instagram and tiktok as soon as i have someone who can listen to my live streams okay but i've also been testing it on just local recording so i'm using road capture which is a normal application i'm also using my normal iphone kind of camera to record a video using my iPhone and I'm connected to it and I'm able to send the sound from my Roadcaster Duo directly into my phone and be able to kind of record my Shure SM7B into the phone and of course any background music sound effects from the Roadcaster Duo which is pretty cool. So this is kind of exciting and I want to get into it guys it's not taking much time let's get into it. What's going on guys? My name is Sam. You're watching the production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So before I do some testing for you guys, I just want to show you why you're getting the box. You really, you're getting this little adapter and you also getting, it comes with a TRRS cable both ways that you can use to connect to your mixer and all the way into the Snyder Live 10. You also get a quarter inch to 35.5 mm jack kind of adapter. And of course, since this is going to have USB type C kind of connection for your Android phones, it comes with this little adapter also for lightning if your phone uses lightning, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty much it, up, you know, other than the user guide. So up close, this is what the unit looks like. You got a few buttons here. Most of these buttons are to like, you got this one to control the volume. Obviously, I'm not going to go through this. I'm not sure what this one does, but this one is control your volume, so your input volume. And then you got this one right here. This is where you're going to input, connect your sound coming from your mixer. And then this is a USB type C port for charging. So you want to charge it and use it at the same time. We just simply want to charge it. And you have this one. This is a 3.5 mm jack output where you connect your headphones for monitoring, which works really well by the way all right for real-time monitoring and then you have this one right here is controlling your headphones volume so you got the minus and plus and then you got this one this is actually the, the buttons for monitoring so controlling the monitoring and this one that i wasn't sure it was actually this one is the one that you use for loopback so to be able to loop back some music coming from the device if you want to listen to it or if you want to have it in the recording so that's pretty much it. The cable USB type C is already attached to it. And then you got this little adapter that you're going to use if you're using an iPhone or an iOS device that uses lightning like mine, which you would just go ahead and connect like this. And as soon as it's connected, by the way, it includes a microphone and headphones. So whatever, if you want to listen to something coming from the iPhone, you can actually still listen through the interface, which is pretty cool. So right now it's connected. And as soon as it's connected, the iPhone is going to detect it as a microphone or an external microphone, which is cool. And then what I'm going to do for you guys, because I don't want to take much time, to be honest, this is super straightforward. We're going to go ahead and I'm just going to show you how I have it connected. So I have this orange cable connected to 
my roadcaster duo on the headphones out so basically whatever is coming from there should get into the device no problem so i'm gonna go ahead and connect into the input here all right and that's pretty much it now because i want to be able to monitor and know what's going on to avoid any clipping or you know something being muted and i won't be aware i'm gonna go ahead and connect some headphones here and then as you can see there's a little light that means it's getting power from the phone and as you can see we have a signal here in road capture again you can use any application i have the road capture application which is a free application that can allow you to use your iphone's camera boom we're good so if i put on my headphones right now just to be able to monitor what's going on so i can actually hear myself from this mic that's going through the roadcaster and then coming back into this little dock. So I can hear myself if I play some music. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and hit record so I can actually have this file. You guys can listen to what I'm listening. I'm gonna upload it. So right now I can hear myself and I'm able to, if I play some background music, So as you can see right now, it's actually connected and I'm recording this feed, obviously, and everything coming from the roadcaster duo right now, guys. It's actually coming in. So that was some background music. All right. Again, I can hear my microphone. It's kind of clipping, but in my headphones, that's another thing that you kind of have to watch out for because sometimes it actually clips if the levels are too high. So this is something you may have to test. Make sure you have the right levels before you go live because again, devices like this are not balanced. They don't have some sort of like limiters and things like that. But when you have good levels, I actually found out that the device does really give you good sound. So another thing before we go too far, I just wanted to show you guys on screen. So this is the Snido website. If you need more information, again, it says that it's compatible with all these applications and, you know, including X, you know, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, all this good stuff it has really high quality audio now if you are a musician actually in fact my plan was to test this thing with a, an actual real musician and see why it was gonna be unfortunately i'm not a musician and it's not easy to find i mean i have some friends who are musicians and it's just had to make this video so because this device was sent to me by snyder so they wanted me to make a video as soon as possible they're not paying me they're not looking at this video before it uploaded and i can say whatever i want just so you guys know but it was sent to me for the purpose of this video so that i can check it out and give my opinion all right but if you guys want to know more information about the device you can go to snyder.com they have some other cool kind of music docs and things like that but you know this is gonna give you an idea of what the device looks like and why it does it does actually produce 24 bit 48 hertz which is really good now i listened to it i even tried by the way guys to connect to a laptop that was running studio 7 if you're a musician you know what i mean and then it was running a session a mixing session and then it was outputting into this device and the sound was amazing all right so if you're a musician and you want you have like a live session where you want to apply live effects and everything and kind of go live to something like instagram through your phone this could be actually a really good device some people doing like church production and you want to go live from your church sound mixer through a phone you can actually use this little device to do that but other than that uh, let me show you guys what it looks like so this is how i have it connected to my roadcaster duo and as you can see we have my microphone my sure sm7b it's actually connected right here so this is it again watch the levels if i go all the way up it may start clipping all right so that's why i try to keep it a little lower and i have this is the back of my broadcaster duo and this is where under headphones number two this is where i connected the cable with the little adapter so you guys can see it all right so that's how it's coming through the cable into the phone all right yeah, lastly, I have like all my sound effects and everything connected to this mixer really can come through. So if I press, I create this sound effect right here, 
Uh, it's a music, it's a background music. All right, so if I play something like this, this is a sound effect that will change my voice. Let's turn it off for this. I can go to the second page. So you can see guys that the sky is the limit. Okay. Now one little problem that I would say that I actually have with the interface, obviously when it comes to clipping, it's not going to be perfect. Eventually, if your levels are too high, you're going to clip. There's no sort of, I don't think it has any sort of limiter and things like that. So you're going to have to monitor your levels, kind of do some testing before you go live and make sure you have good levels on your mixer and you can also adjust the volume here on the actual dock which is cool but that's something you have to be aware of another thing is with my iphone this little thing is kind of not stable so if i'm not very careful actually the cable gets disconnected the uh lightning input so i don't know if it's my phone maybe that's getting old or if it's actually the actual device so this could be a little risky, especially if you kind of using your phone, like move, going around and moving a little bit. If it's not in stable kind of, you know, place, that could be an issue. So be aware of that. Another thing is even the monitoring, I'm listening in the headphones right now and I feel like the microphone is clipping. But when I look at the levels on, on the uh, recording here, you know, they kind of look good so i'm not sure this could be a little misleading yes allows me to listen but when it comes to clipping i don't know if i should trust the headphones or i should trust what i see in the application so that's another thing that i would say be aware of in my opinion the best way to see it or to look at it sometimes it's just look at the application that's recording if you're using voice note just recording audio it works well as well so try to look at the waves and just make your own judgment based on what you're saying but 100 percent recommend you do some testing up front before you go live the last thing that i would say that maybe it's just the design in general i feel like the way they design it it's just it's a little harder because i mean you're connecting this to a phone and i wish there was a way you can just like find a way to attach it and it's kind of stable and because you have so many things connected to it you know if i was charging it i'll have another cable here so like i just feel like the design overall i think there could be a better way to make it more mobile friendly and make it a little more stable because when i'm live man the last thing i want is to have some audio kind of disconnected out of nowhere and then my phone starts using the built-in microphone and i was expecting some good sound so i feel like design wise maybe they could do better find a way to design in a, in a way that it's gonna stay stable kind of sticking compact and i don't know man I, I don't i'm not a designer but just feel like the design is not so great all right but overall this is a good option for connecting or sending audio through your phone a good audio through your phone i'm gonna leave a link down below guys if you're interested just check it out try it out and let me know how it goes i'll definitely keep testing it including testing it with an actual musician and see what i can get but so far let me know what you think about this device and i'll see you on the next video take care